Hello everyone and welcome to this week's uh, video tutorial on Make Game Tactics. This is based on the free ebook that is available on uh, Shang Chi on the World Federation Shang Chi website. Uh, this will be the start of a new chapter, uh, which will deal solely with the pin. Now, the pin is a commonly used tactic in the mid game that restricts the movement of the enemy pieces. If this tactic was mastered and properly and properly applied, it will be able to limit the movement of the enemy pieces and thus they cannot do any major damage. Now, uh, the lecture portion, please read the PowerPoint slides that I provided. Uh, for this chapter, the pins will be discussed in three major formats. The pin by the cannon, the pin by the chariot and king, and also the pin by the horse and elephant. <coughs> Here we have the first example, uh, a short analysis of the situation. Red would have two chariots, two cannons, two horses, four pawns, and a full guard. Black could have two also have two chariots, two cannons, two horses, a full guard, and the extra pawn. So uh, Red had concentrated his material on this flank, uh, and Black was at attacking the attacking the horse in this manner. So now uh, the chariot, the black chariot over here is placed in a precarious position. Uh, why is that so? Because red is prepared to play C plus minus two. Uh, the anterior cannon is C plus, C plus, uh, sorry, C plus minus one to attack the chariot. Now at this point in time, it would not be a good idea for black to capture the central pawn as usually uh, it's, it's usually done. Uh, well, but black could try to gain some material because red can play uh, r4 plus 2. So this is one major issue that uh, we will be discussing. So to begin our discussion, uh, red would start with p3 plus 1 as mentioned, preparing to play uh, C plus minus 1 to attack the chariot, which has no place to go. If he retreated, the elephant would capture it. And this pawn is protected by the horse, so the chariot cannot capture it either. So how should black react? As mentioned earlier, it would not be a good idea to play c5 plus 4 because black would simply, uh, sorry, red would simply advance his, uh, advance his chariot over here to gain material. So this would be black's attack will be halted and the <coughs> the movement of these three pieces will be in trouble. So how should black react? In the book, H3 plus 2 was recommended, which is the sound move. Now, so let us see what will happen. So if black con uh, if red continue with C plus minus 1, black could counter with a pin of his own, a cannon pin. Whereby now, the cannon will be threatening. If this cannon captured the chariot, it would be a trade of chariots. And the horse would have protected the black chariot over here. So three uh, three variations are studied in the book. The first would be C2 equals to 7, whereby red would accept the trade. So if C2 equals to 7 were played, a check is delivered. And Black would charge his horse across the river, preparing or threatening to capture the elephant, which is blocked by the red chariot. So that is why Red would have to retreat his elephant. And at this time, after trading the chariots, this foul would be a huge big weakness for Red. So Black would continue with R4 equals to 8 to threaten the gain material, forcing the Red to defend in this manner. So by this time, we can see black had pinned the cannon and horse in this line, and red would take. Uh, sorry, black would continue with p3 plus one, and black would have a significant advantage at this point in time. So, returning to the position of discussion, c7 equals to it was a very powerful cannon pin by black. So, what would happen if? Black decided to capture this cannon instead. And Black would simply capture the horse in a trade of material. 
Now, uh, although the cannons and the chariot are linked uh, on the same line, they are actually getting in the way of each other. So, whereas um, Black's chariot will now be a much more deadly entity, and this cannon cannot leave this line without uh, without any major cause of concern or worry, because the horse will be ready to attack. Now, in the third variation, what about red? moving the chariot to safety. Black would capture the Black would capture the cannon. Red would do so. And at this time black would gain material. So as can be seen, black would now have two cannons, two horses and one chariot. Well red would only have two chariots and uh, two chariots, one horse and one cannon left. So black would have the extra cannon and is prepared to attack with save R4 plus 4 to go for the spotted cannon attack etc or can simply capture the red cannon so uh, black would have a significant advantage so a short review of this board as can be seen uh, at this point in time red tried to go for P3 plus 1 to attack the chariot and black counter very aggressively and proactively with H3 plus 2 and Red thinks that uh, capturing the chariot would be an okay, okay move, but Black will suddenly counter with a cannon pin, which is the topic of this, uh, which is the main topic of this section. And there were three variations R2, C2 equals to 7, whereby Black would gain a winning position. The second variation was to simply trade material, but again, Black's uh, Black's pressure on these flanks is tremendous. There are many, many things that uh, Black can continue and Black would have a significant advantage if he acted correctly. The last variation, C2 equals to 1, where by Red moves the, cannon, moves the chariot to safety would only result in a loss of material. So the variation uh, by chapter 5 in the book, the examples given have become more and more complicated and I hope you've enjoyed this short section. I'll be trying to do the, uh, to do the videos and explain them in clearer detail as to the best of my abilities. Thank you and if you like the work that I've been doing, please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up for this video. Thank you.